And despite being a relatively new member of the percussion family, steel pan or steel drum techniques are far from fresh. Joining us now is none other than David Bowles, one of Greenville's most enthusiastic street performers. How's it going, David? Hey, morning, Ava. How you doing today? Well, I'm already loving the vibes. The Hawaiian <laughs> shirt, we've got the steel drum here. Yep, yep. I cannot wait to get to know your story. So you play downtown Greenville. That's actually how we met. Yes. You, were, you were playing, and just give me a little beat so I can so we, viewers can hear the hear the sound All for right. it. Ah, so I came up near Passerelle, and I'm starting to dance because that's what I do when I hear music. And we got to talking, and you were telling me so many interesting things on how to play the steel drum. But we'll just walk our viewers first. Tell me a little bit about the history of the instrument. Well, the steel drum uh, originated in the island nation of Trinidad and Tobago. And uh, of course, it became very popular and spread throughout the Caribbean pretty mm. quickly. Uh, I think it's one of the most uh, iconic instruments of that whole genre. When you hear it, you're, you're automatically transported to the islands. Kinda. Wow! So, uh, and uh, well, and uh, it kind of makes sense because uh, if you think about it, after the Second World War, there were so many Navy bases, and of course, with all the ships and the mm. equipment down there, there were all kinds of you know hundreds of thousands of oil barrels. I think it was just natural that percussionists found something to do with those oil barrels. Well, it is definitely not the only instrument you play. You play a wide variety, right? Yes, well, yes. Okay, yeah. Yes, I'm I sure did. that probably helped you transition into learning this one. It okay. did, it did. I, I, I come from a Scottish and Irish folk music background, and so I played the hammer dulcimer, which is another mallet-type instrument, ah. uh, before I played the steel pan. But the steel pan has a pretty, uh, or the lead pan that I play has a fairly straightforward if you will, a uh, pattern that the scales show. And if, if we can get an overhead, I can show yeah. people at Hit home the, the scale. Yeah. Basically, I've got larger and smaller notes on this instrument. Mm -hmm. If I start on one of the large ones and play this direction by skipping these here, I can start the scale. Do, re, mi. Ah. The fourth note of the scale on this instrument is right to the left of where I began. Mm -hmm. So, do, re, mi, fa. Now I skip the big ones I just played to get the rest of the scale. So, la, ti, and the octave is always right inside. Ah. And that, that pattern holds true for all the keys in the lead pan. So, wherever you start, that's the pattern for the scale. So, it's not too hard to pick up once you know that. Well, you, you say that. <laughs> you say yeah. that. Because you've been playing for how long? Oh, well, I got my first steel drum in 2001. So, I'm coming up on a quarter century now. Okay. Well, yeah. I'm sure I can, you know, learn in four minutes. You know, uh, what's, yeah, so, what's well, a couple of, hey, yeah. Well, Couple decades. All you no need problem. is a good teacher. Come on, David. So yeah. we are going so, to learn. I'm going to. We're going to learn here together, everybody. We're going to. We're going to get Ava playing a little bit of Beethoven this morning, y'all. So yes, stick around wait. for a moment. We'll, <laughs> okay. So if you watch my hands, I'll show you the the first line is just five notes. We'll start with the right, and uh -huh. it's these two here. So okay. Da, 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 da. Excellent. Ooh, gave a little extra on that one. Okay, now the end of that line, after we play the da, 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 come straight up to the small one. Huh? Skip over that one. And get the one with the Ooh, higher one. Okay, kind of a memory game here. Watch it. Da, 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 da. Try it Okay. Out. I'll start on the right. Oh, wait, right, right no problem. Yep, okay. Yep, yep. Nervous. Okay. Mm -hmm. Skip down. Yep. Beautiful. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Everyone, my new steel drum student, Ava Bratt. <laughs> yes, hi. Hello. I'm a teacher. We're and, going uh, on the road together, actually. That's right. That's right. <laughs> this well, is uh, awesome. Uh, well, if, if, if she's out and about, I, I should be uh, uh, downtown uh, for brunch, uh, probably Saturday and Sunday by Pastor El Bistro. Yeah. Uh, Mike and everyone there are so nice to, oh, to us, us street performers. So, uh, and just uh, we, as street performers, I think uh, I can speak for all of us uh, that, that uh, you know, with everything this area has been through in the last mm -hmm. week, we just want to be out and uh, bring a little bit of hope uh, out there. Uh, of course, a lot of people are still struggling and dealing with a yeah. lot in this area. Uh, and of course, we don't want to downplay that in any way, but, but uh, I guess uh, the way we look at it is that, you know, if you can take yourself a short break and have a little bit of live music and get yourself a fresh breath, uh, well, there's your new perspective on, on things you have to take care of this week and get through things, and so we'll all get through it together, guys. I love that, David. So well said, and such truth, right? Music to human nature, it really does bring so much joy to the soul. So I did a little bit, but if you wanted to kind of do the Beethoven sure, song sure. by yourself to really show the viewers your skills here, right. I and would the, love that. Of course, this is for Elise. We'll, we'll play. For Elise. Okay. Thank you. 
everybody is clapping at home. Thank that you guys. was amazing. And it's a good thing we're going to go on the road together because I don't think we could take the city separately. You'd yeah, have to no, be on one yeah, side, yeah, not yeah. to be on the other side because that was great. fantastic. Oh, well, thank, thank you, you so <laughs> much, Dave. And like you said, you can find them this weekend near Passerelles, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll play a uh, brunch down there this weekend. If the weather's good Saturday and Sunday morning, we'll see you out there for brunch. Good deal. Well, thank you again. And more to come on Access Carolina.